Hey guys, welcome back to RK Garage. On today's video, we're going to review Max B and Rod's T6 coilovers for VY Commodores. They fit VT to VZ. This is a VY. This is my drift car. So recently we've been out to Matsuri and Round 1 D1WA State Title Comp, which we put their coilers through a proper test. I've had them in for the car for a few events now, get them sussed in, got my height sorted, got everything set up. Now Matsuri was definitely a good test of them. It was a Collie race track. I went off the track a lot and I'm going to put some clips in right here and you'll see me just going off and off and I was smashing the coilovers. So we'll see how they held up after we get back from these clips. <laughs> those clips got the wheels off ready for us forgot to mention don't mind those front wheels I cracked a rim from going off track so I've got some of my rear wheels on there obviously it's got a bigger profile tire so I get more wheel speed out of it anyway we got it all angled up we got it all angled up so that we can check it out properly so as you can see yeah she got uh, dirty and dusty but Usually they all crack here from what I've seen on multiple different brands. These ones here have held up perfect. Nothing has moved. All the threads are exactly where I set it. Um, I, I did actually take measurements when I set the height to make sure I got it all right. And uh, I went back over them all. Obviously my uh, wheel was rubbing on this. I need to re-tighten this up. Obviously when I want to track it, budged it out. My camera adjustment's off, so I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, this really needs a good clean in here. But nothing has any, nothing seems to have any fracture marks. Nothing's cracked. Everything looks good. Coming on this side as well. I was too lazy to put this in. That's why it's just hanging there. They supply this with it as well. Everything there is fine. Nothing that it didn't break. Yeah. Uh, this here was me. I smacked that out of the way to get clearance of this. Um, that's just because of how I have the height setting of this, of how I like the sway bar. Apart from that, yeah. Apart from that, the front looks fine. Move to the rear. This is equally just as dirty. As you can see the spring, I've got it set. Basically, as long as it will go with the sleeve in there, sets the height I want. The spring looks fine. If the spring snaps, you really got a problem. But now we'll go to the back shock. Now, this here is what I was mainly going to be concerned about how thin this bit is here. But that has held up absolutely perfect. The shock as well seems to still be mint. No dramas there at all, which is absolutely awesome. Um, yeah, same thing. My adjustments, all here, they're all the same. Yeah, another quick look at it for you guys. So I'm actually very impressed with how they took a beating. I honestly went on off track a million times. Some of them were pretty rough too. I actually thought for sure uh, they're going to break, but they haven't. And surprisingly, I think I have these set full hard. Let's have a look. So here's the adjustment knob there. Yeah, that's set full hard. I know the rear, I have it set full hard as well. And while these aren't made for the track, they're made for the street. So it could, all the other ones usually go a lot firmer. Fully hard, I found it still had a really nice ride. I would actually use these on the street. So I have a VY L67 project for this channel that I'm doing. I insert a picture here. Max speeding rods, if you're watching this, I would love a set to whack in the street car when I can review them, what they're like in the street. So if you wanna to work together again, hit me up. We can make that happen. 
and I can do another good read of how they handle them straight. Because right now I've got a set in there of another company's and they are absolutely horrible. That is one of the worst rides I've ever had. Especially when you hit a bump, the rebound on it is insane. It like throws you back up. So I'd love to test them on the street. But yeah, uh, everything on it seems good. If you guys are new to the channel as well and you made it this far, that's the engine bay. I might have filmed a little bit before to put that in the beginning of it, who knows. But I'm gonna get the wheels back on, get it lowered back on the ground, edit this video and get it out there. If you are new to this channel, you wanna see more, I do a lot of turbo V6 stuff. That's my drag car, looking a bit sad and sorry at the moment, but it's getting a 4.2 billet stroker T400 conversion. That used to be forged Ecotec turbo uh, T56 converted. It's great fun, but it's time to go fast. So we'll see. And as per usual, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys on the next video, which will be back to the normal content.